My name is Emerson. I am the owner and founder and president of an executive recruiting company that focuses primarily on financial services. My overall rating for Bullhorn is a three. When I started with Bullhorn, uh, it was 2006, and uh, it was the first time I had had my own business. Uh, I was not using an ATS at all. I was using Excel, and uh, it became obvious pretty soon uh, into having my business that Excel was just not going to be a strong enough tool. Uh, it wasn't interactive. Uh, it didn't. It, it, it wasn't a database. I did think about building an access database, uh, but I decided that it was probably better to go with something that was uh, that I could buy uh, because I wanted to be able to have a lot of the other functionality that I had seen on uh, on some of the other ATSs that I had looked at. So um, really, I, I mainly needed to, to have a much more robust ATS functionality. I chose Bullhorn uh, because, uh, frankly, the price was right. I was a brand new business. Uh, I, I, I had no experience with ATSs. A lot of the other ATSs were very expensive. Bullhorn wasn't. They were hungry, motivated for, uh, to get my business, even though I explained to them that I was very small. Uh, and they... Uh, had very robust functionality, including incorporating uh, my email into their system. The email integration was not great and, and did change over the time that I worked with them. Uh, and, 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 and I did have a bunch of issues. But at the time, it, it had very good functionality. It was very focused on the kind of work that I do, which is individual recruiting without a lot of emphasis on the, the sort of bigger picture HR issues, which I don't deal with at all. Getting started with Bullhorn was okay, I think, from the Bullhorn perspective. I think I had a very steep learning curve because I didn't really know what I was doing. And as I said, I was coming from a spreadsheet. Um, uh, but it was pretty pretty uh, much okay in terms of what they did with me. They were supportive. They were uh, responsive. They got back to me quickly. They helped me get up and running. Uh, they also helped me with some sort of you know best practice tips, which I found very helpful. So if you are thinking about getting Bullhorn, uh, unless you are a large company, uh, I would look around uh, at some other options. Uh, I left Bullhorn uh, because I just found they weren't focused on small, uh, one person in my case, but multiple person, but, but still small shops. I felt like they really had moved into a corporate world. Uh, they got bought by another company and their, their customer service really diminished. So um, if you're going to work uh, with Bullhorn um, as a small firm, then at least make very sure that your contract specifies uh, a minimum number of users because I got screwed by that. Uh, they insisted that I have, I think it was like five minimum, it was a lot of minimum users. And, uh, and as I, as I changed the way my business is focused, um, that was really onerous because I, uh, I had to make, I, I either had to make up payments for people who had left my company or, uh, or, or have them continue to make payments when they didn't want to. So just make sure that your contract really stipulates that. Um, and, and again, if you're a small firm, I, I'd look around.